All right, so we were out here testing old World War I German armor, and uh, Carl had this idea to tinker with some modern armor at the same time because you have a couple of plates that you actually found out in the desert. Yeah, I did. So uh, a neighbor I didn't know a couple houses away, I live in the middle of nowhere desert, left their house in a hurry. I think they were foreclosed on or something, I don't know, but Oregon Trail style, they left a lot of stuff behind. It was an entire yard of trash and garbage. And a couple months after they left, I kind of poked around because they weren't coming back. I was curious what was over there. And there were two what looked like mil-spec plates, ceramic plates laying in the dirt. Right. Um, dated from 07, they were old. They've been around a long time. I don't know if they're surplus, I don't know how we got them, but I got them from just finding them in a trash dump. There was a little crack on the corner of, one, of both of them, so they were not serviceable. But I held on to them, curious what we could use them for something in the future, and today we did that. And it's interesting, the one of them was M8, rated for M80 ball, the which front, was the front was yeah. ball. The front was 7.62 M80 ball rated. This rear plate, or small, actually it's not rear, it's just a smaller plate, large versus extra large, it was rated for 7.62 millimeter AP M2. Right. So that's AP, armor piercing. Yep. So we shot the um, M80 ball, uh, M80 uh, rated target with M2 30-06, and it did stop. It was a pretty big deformation pattern, but it did stop the round. At about 30 yards. 30 yards, which is close. And then we fired the um, <laughs> Soviet API from Shikas ammo, which is armor piercing and cindunary, considered the best API of World War II. So to point out, the Shikas was a, a Soviet rotary aircraft gun with a rate of fire of a couple thousand rounds a minute. Right, was... and this was considered high-grade ammo, and some of the snipers wanted to get their hands on it because it was more accurate than regular ammo. Right, they made armor piercing incendiary for shooting at aircraft where you needed more than just a little bullet hitting the plane and then but you know and because the Shikas was a very high rate of fire gun uh, it required extremely tight tolerances on ammunition to avoid malfunctions making so, it highly accurate ammo often yeah and often some of the the reject Shikas ammo was issued to the infantry to use so at any rate so we have not only the advantage of AP also the API, so it's like the PZ incendiary explosive, but with armor piercing capabilities. So we put this plate out at 30 yards and shot it with this Nagant. Uh, you can see quite an impact hole here. I mean, it kind of exploded. And which every, every time you turn it, it's dripping fragments of ceramic. Yes, well, it shattered this. It should yeah. have. And what it, this is not surprising, right? And then, astonishingly, it stopped it. Completely. It actually contained the explosive explosion within the plate. There's actually, let me see if I can bring that in. Essentially closer. melted area where the round detonated. I don't know if you can see that, but we'll take some pictures. But there's, if you can't see it, I don't know. But there's explode, this, this, this cone-shaped pattern <laughs> here is the explosion contained within the armor plate. Very cool. So here, at first we weren't going to put this out for public consumption because we didn't want people knowing about what this stuff could do. Now that we see this, quite honestly, I think we should. And here's why. Uh, this is old stuff. Hopefully the stuff that's out there now is better, but being that this is old stuff, uh, you guys should have utmost confidence in your armor, quite frankly. Yeah. Um, this was API, incendiary explosive armor piercing at 30 yards, and while this would not have been pleasant... Yeah, that'll, that'll mess up your day, but not as much as taking API round to the chest. I think this would have saved your life. Absolutely. You would have had some problems here, but you would not have been dead. Yeah. And this is with an explosive round. So guys, um... Hey, I, I'm more than impressed. Props to the guys who make that armor. That's impressive. Amazing stuff. stuff and um, wow, if this doesn't boost your confidence, I don't know what. This is fantastic. We'll try to get some close-in shots of the uh, inside melted. It's literally melted inside. The laminates are melted. Yeah. And it smells like hell. <laughs> Anyways. Literally, sulfur and all. It smells awful. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check us out every week for more cool stuff from InRange TV. Thanks.